Assalamu alaikum everybody. In this video we are going to test these two little antennas sitting right here. They are from birdseyeview.nl So uh, they came all the way from outside China. But don't go on the looks. They pack some serious punch of performance in, inside them. Just now I did a flight you have seen with the Aeonway 200 milliwatt 5.8 GSZ video system with integrated camera and uh, I was just keeping my Skywalker within 1 kilometer to 1.2 kilometer range and at some points I was having serious glitches on my video now I'm gonna test these antennas on the same 200 milliwatt Aeonway video system okay it's a 5.8 GSZ and see how with the small cheap video systems uh, using cheap video systems and stock video receivers on goggles these antennas are going to behave and uh, see if they will really increase the range and video quality or not so on the ground I will have this uh, square pulsar antenna from birdseyeview.no and on video transmitter I will install this dome antenna I'll give the Skywalker a flight and remember using my Futaba 14 SG I have about three kilometer range inside the city because we are flying in this uh, noise noise filled area all right I'm not using any of these antenna trackers you can see they will be off all the time I'll put them back and just to confirm I'm not cheating you can see my AOM wave video transmitter 1000 milliwatt is disconnected as well you can see I have disconnected both cables all right let me install the antennas, get it ready, give it a flight. The only thing I was doing, the only thing I will use now will be the video goggles on top of the LCD screen because I'm taking the AV out from video goggles and feeding it to my LCD and my Skyzone goggles have a better video receivers diversity and I'll be using Pulsar antenna there. So Pulsar will be acting as a directional antenna and I'll go this way flying to test the range so we'll just keep the goggles this way here oh I found the screw this one is powered on and my LCD has the video right there okay we are good to go this is my only setup right now there goes the Skywalker And here we go, we have the video. This is my only setup right now. I hope you can hear the static from my LCD screen. I'm not sure if you can see it or not. But now, well, the very clear video. I'll put the goggles down here. As you can see here now. Very clear video. Grainy, grainy. So all you need to do is turn the pulsar towards the plane. So if I'm wearing the goggles, I can actually turn my head towards the plane and I can get the clear video back. So yes, these antennas does make difference, man. They do, they do make difference the way you receive the video.
and landing. Everything is recording. Under the car shade. Whew, that was nice, man. That was really nice. Unfortunately, my head cam wasn't running, but you can see it had big, big rains. When my Skywalker was like 500 meters high, it's all soaked in water and it was really big rain. But all of my systems was, were working simply perfectly. Skywalker had activated RTH and when I saw the Skywalker, I let it dive. So my Mobius is still shooting. Awesome. Uh, I believe this Mobius video will be a precious one because this was the first time I ever flew an airplane in a big rain like this. And it was really, really high. <laughs> my heart was like, oh man, my heart was like, oh man, I'm gonna lose my Skywalker today. But one, MFD autopilot in here worked simply awesome. Two, my Futaba radio never lost any feed or any control. Three, I had full FPV live feed coming uh, through using the uh, bird's eye view NL.NL, .NL, this uh, dome and pulsar antennas. Let me just quickly put everything inside now. Oh, because it's a big rain now. Oh, look at me, I'm soaked in rain. And uh, <laughs> once again, I was lucky. Uh, this rain unexpectedly, really unexpectedly caught, caught me today. I was trying to reach the clouds up there and trying to do some cloud surfing. But then the rain started, so I had no idea what was the altitude because uh, my OSD and nothing was running. I was just using that little banggood.com 200 milliwatt system and testing the uh, bird's eye view NL antenna. So a lot of things got confirmed because of this incident. One, Skywalker flew in rain. Two, Futaba radio never lost a single uh, signal uh, on the Skywalker. Anyway, it was just above my head, but it was a lot of altitude. Number three, the Aomway 200 milliwatt integrated camera 5.0G video transmitter that I bought from Banggood.com kept working and I had the bird's eye view dot and all those bird's eye view antennas, dome and pulsar on the ground. So I had clear video even when the rain was really big. I had clear video. My, my heart was pumping and I didn't know if I could actually land the plane. I was thinking that I lost it with this much rain. Anyway, the plane came back real nice. It flew real nice and my Mobius on board kept shooting the video. So that video is gonna be a real nice one I believe everything is inside and you can see my Skywalker is completely soaked in water I hope my uh, my stuff that was outside the Skywalker like video transmitter and GPS they are okay uh, so far they were working okay but Aomway video transmitter on the backside wasn't working so I'm not worried about that one okay so for me it's uh, time to conclude everything I cannot fly anymore it's raining real big I gotta go home uh, wash up, take some rest, and edit these exciting videos right away. Thank you very much, Bird's Eye View. Those are simply awesome antennas. I'm loving it. And I highly recommend those antennas to everyone to fly with. Those are simply amazing. They increase the video quality, they increase the image quality, and of course, they increase the range double, triple fold. Okay, let's go home and see how the videos turn out.